how does that go down? How is it presented? Is it just a matter of fact that this week you will have the distinction and honor to represent our guy? Um, we get told every Friday, and it's kind of just goes. It's kind of just throughout the week of who, who's who's got the best practices, who who played to our standard with that last game. So, I mean, I'd I'd love to wear it this week. It'd be an honor, but um, it's kind of just judged throughout the week and how we practice. I have a broad question. How do you feel like you guys played this last week? Up front or as a unit? You up front. Um, <clears throat> uh, definitely a lot of room for improvement. We've got to be more physical, uh, get more movement, uh, open up better holes for our backs to hit. Uh, personally, it's just not our standard, but I think there's a lot of ways to improve in that, and it all starts in practice and how we approach things. <clears throat> Sort of going off of that, what are the specific things you want to see improvement in and, and how you guys go about making those improvements? Uh, physicality, wanting to finish people. Um, just having a mindset to go out there and make somebody quit. I think that's what it, it takes to play in the, in the trenches anywhere. But um, I'd like to see that mindset out of all of us and it be a consistent mindset, not just a once a week kind of thing, just kind of going out there and improving on something every day and working towards that. What's, what's a film session with Coach Searles like after a week where you felt like you didn't necessarily live up to the standard? Um, there's, there's no sugarcoating. Straight to the point. He's going to tell you what you did wrong and tell you what you did good. And he, he's not going to beat around the bush. He's, he's going to tell you how it is. And uh, it's up to you how you take that. Um, and I'm always, I've always been told to hear the message, not the tone. So um, I think that's, that's helped me a lot throughout this process. And I think it's helping our offensive line a lot throughout this process. I believe Coach Searles is from Tryon. He is, right? You're from Rome, Georgia. Y'all ever talk about Northwest Georgia? Uh, I, just, I always tell him that I never lost to Tryon in high school. But <laughs> always, I mean, there's always some conversation about it. Uh, talking about football, just uh, life in general up there. He calls it God's country up there. So we have, we have uh, some kind of connection with that. I tell you, I think it's been a while since we got an actual mullet update. Uh, have you, uh, is that continued? To grow, has it been cut? Does it get quaffed uh, before the season? Uh, and uh, do you still get as much attention for it as you did early on? Um, it, it gets cut every now and then. I try to get the sides cut uh, every other week, but I think it. I think it still gets a good bit of attention. I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of tired of it by now, but hey, it's, it's, it comes with it, I guess. It gets hot when it's hot outside. I just wanted to ask, I mean, Amarius Mims, you know, first full season really starting, you know, we, we spoke pretty highly on him early on before heading into the season, but what have you thought and, and, and saw from him, especially playing right next to him so far this season? Um, I think he's a physical freak. Um, um, like I said, from all of us, I'd like to see a mindset of, mindset of finishing people because um, I know he can do it better than anybody out there. Um, I think he's a phenomenal player, but – I would like to see him play with a mean streak, I think is what I'm looking for. But he's a, he's a great player and I love playing next to him. Helps me out a lot. And I try to help him out as much as I can, but I really enjoy playing next to him. Hey, what would your advice be to some of the offensive linemen who are going to be playing in their first SEC game on Saturday just about what they're getting into and what they're going to be up against? Um, don't treat it like any other game. I mean, I, I have the mindset of every game, so it's, it's about the best game. Like, I'm not. I didn't prepare for UT Martin any other any differently than I'm going to prepare for this game. I treat it all the same, so I kind of try to pass that on to them. Uh, don't make a bigger deal out of things than what they should be. Um, every game's a big game. Every game matters. Every game's important, and I try to view it as no game's bigger than any other. Do you want to follow up on the hair? Carson used to cut it. Does he still cut it, or has he graduated from that? Uh, he cuts it every now and then, but uh, not as consistent consistently as he used to. Coach Simpson said that in week one, they loaded up the box, take away the run, so it's much easier to run for 50 yards and block and throw and catch. How frustrating does it get when you see that back-to-back -back weeks? Um, I think saying that's kind of an excuse. Um, I mean, good offensive line is going to figure out how to block that either way. So I think we just got to go out there and execute better and uh, pick up on blocks. I mean, it's, I think it's just a bunch of excuses saying people load the box, not being able to run the ball. When you saw Dylan Bell make that uh, make that cut and score the touchdown, were you surprised or did you see plays like that from him at the running back spot in practice? Um, I wasn't surprised. I know he's a tremendous athlete, and I know he can make big plays wherever he is on the field. Um, in the game, I didn't know he made the cut. 
uh, until the day after I saw it on Twitter and I was like, oh, you know, that's, that's a pretty good play. But uh, no, it didn't surprise me. Um, I've seen him make plays, he's a great athlete, and I think he's a great attribute to wherever we put him on offense. Okay, this is the last year for the SEC East, you know, playing South Carolina, playing Tennessee, being both, you know, matchups you've kind of grown up watching, I guess, with Georgia. What, what's your thoughts about all that going mm-hmm. away in terms of that and, you know, Texas and Oklahoma coming in? Um, I haven't really formulated an opinion on it right now. I'm still just trying to take things one week at a time right now. I haven't really looked into that much. But, um, I, yeah, I just haven't, I haven't really thought about it that much. Tate, South Carolina's got a really experienced D-line that you've faced a couple times before. What have you seen them in, in pat, from them in past matchups? And based on the film going into this game, what are you kind of expecting from those three guys? They're physical. Um, I do remember that from last year, but as of right now, I haven't really gotten into the film with them in their past uh, games, still looking over the previous game and kind of getting to that tonight, watching their film. But um, uh, they're always physical. They always have a good group, plays hard, but um, I think it'll be a good matchup. I was talking to Oscar about the art of blocking, and he says one of the best parts about it is getting some recognition, some love from the big fellas up front. Do you sense that? Do you see it? Do you watch it and kind of tell them, that, yeah, that's what we expect? Um, yeah, we definitely show them a lot of love. I, I don't know if y'all saw it two weeks in a row. Brock Bowers has put someone on on their back, and we all get pretty excited about it. We love seeing it uh, just because that's that's our world, and seeing other people getting in, enjoying our world is, is kind of a, is, is a lot of fun. We had an opportunity to, I guess, see you in our world this last summer. You were doing some NIL work and some video. What, what did you learn from, from that experience of kind of doing those shows and sharing your opinion with fans? Um, words can be twisted. Uh, I think I kind of learned that the hard way. Got some backlash for some things I said, but it's a learning curve. Um, definitely a learning experience. I learned from it, but me and, me and Zillow had a lot of fun doing those. And, uh, and it, it turned out to be really good for us, and we hope to keep that rolling. Maybe more questions for Tate? All right, Tate, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Tate. Tate.